Vice President Kamala Harris says the Biden administration remains focused on the root causes of illegal immigration. She was making her first trip to the southern border since Harris was assigned the lead to the, the lead to respond to an increase in migration along the border there. She visited a Customs and Border Protection facility in Texas on Friday, went to a port of entry, and met with community leaders in El Paso. Our administration, it is important to be clear, is working to build a fair and a functional and a humane immigration system. We feel very strongly about that. And as you know, we inherited a tough situation. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas joins us now. I accompanied Harris on the trip. Uh, good morning to you, Mr. Secretary. We just heard uh, the vice president say that the administration inherited a tough situation. What was that situation as you saw it on Friday? Uh, good morning, and thank you for having me. Uh, let me at the outset uh, comment on the tragedy in Surfside. I, I just watched your reporting, and our hearts go out uh, to the victims of that tragic event. The president has declared uh, an emergency. Uh, I spoke late uh, yesterday evening with DHS's FEMA director, Deanne Criswell, who was on scene yesterday, and we're bringing all of the federal resources to bear to assist our county, state, local partners. Um, uh, Friday's trip was uh, extremely successful. Uh, the vice president had an opportunity uh, to see our operations and the full expanse of them. Uh, when we assumed office in January, we inherited a system that was entirely dismantled, and we've had to rebuild it from scratch, which we are very well underway in doing. Mr. Secretary, there's been some bipartisan criticism that you visited El Paso and not the Rio Grande Valley, where many of the migrants make the actual crossing. What was behind that decision? Well, uh, it was my recommendation to visit El Paso. El Paso is actually one of the busiest of the nine sectors across the southwest border, uh, and it also provides the opportunity to see the full expanse of our work. Not only the Central Pro Processing Center, uh, where uh, we encounter migrants, bring them uh, to shelter uh, for transfer to uh, Health and Human Services, uh, but we also uh, were able to visit the port. Uh, where we propel uh, lawful trade and travel through that port of entry. So we were able to see the full expanse, and uh, El Paso is quite, quite busy. In fact, uh, we have um, encountered uh, just over 113,000 individuals uh, this fiscal year. Mr. Secretary, why not visit uh, Fort Bliss, which is just 10 miles away and has hundreds of uh, unaccompanied migrant children reportedly in very difficult conditions? Uh, the vice president and the president directed Javier Becerra, the secretary of Health and Human Services, to visit Fort Bliss, uh, which is under his responsibility, and he's doing so today. It was just 10 miles away. Why not include it on the vice president's trip? Well, uh, you know, we had uh, quite a bit to see, and we were able to uh, uh, meet with the CBP, the Customs and Border Protection uh, personnel, both in the Central Processing Center and the Port of Entry. Um, the vice president was able to meet with migrant children and understand why uh, they fled their home in desperation. Uh, she was also able to meet with community members to understand what they have been learning uh, from the migrants uh, who fled the northern and triangle countries of Guatemala, Honduras, uh, and El Salvador. It was most instructive. And what the president and vice president have done from the very outset is direct their cabinet officials, including me, to address the situation at the border. Mr. Secretary, I just want to get a, quick, a question in on Title 42. That's a Trump-era policy that allows the administration to essentially block asylum claims from tens of thousands of single adults and migrant families. Uh, your administration has been looking to repeal Title 42. Where does that stand? And if you do uh, repeal it, are you prepared for the inflow? Title 42 is not an immigration policy. It is a public health policy that the Centers for Disease Control uh, implements. And the CDC, as it is commonly known, uh, will continue Title 42 or discontinue it uh, if and when the public health situation so dictates. It's driven uh, by what is in the best public health interest of the American people. And you're prepared either way? 
We are planning. This is what we do. We know how to address difficult situations. Uh, we develop plans. We execute our plans. We have incredible personnel in the Department of Homeland Security. All right. Secretary Mayorkas, thank you very much.